Hey there, Tinkercad and Glowforge friends. I am back again with another cool challenge. This time I'm going to ask you to make a sweet little cardboard container. I'm going to show you some cool tricks to make one super fast. And then I'm hoping you use those tricks and come up with your own way to add a bottom, maybe a top, and maybe even come up with fancier container designs using the skills I give you. So, without any further ado, let's get cracking. My friends, let's start by clicking Create New Design. We are going to design a sweet, simple box using cardboard. Bring the box out and measure your cardboard. Uh, mine is four millimeters thick. If yours is different, make sure you're using the right thickness. We're going to make it look like cardboard just because that's really, really smart. And then I want some special measurements for our first one. I want you to do 60 and I want you to do 50 for the measurements. We are going to work on a slide technique for our box coming together. We're going to bring out a hole, and we know that our cardboard's four millimeters thick. So we're going to make it four millimeters for the size of the hole that we're going to slice into our project. If we look back at our design, remember I told you this was 50? So for this to work, we need our cut to be at least 25 in so that the pieces can slide together. With our two parts designed, I simply want you to select both of them, choose a line. We want to align it on the right edge, and we also want it aligned on that back edge. When we spin around and look at it from the right or the right corner, you'll see that that is lined up perfectly. Then I want you to click on that nifty hole, and we want to move it in five clicks. There's one, two, three, four, five clicks. I want to make a duplicate of that. I'm going to put it on the other side. Control D. I'm going to just pull it over out of the way. I'm going to group the two pieces I just made so that way they are lined up and already cut. Then I can grab the other side, choose a line. This time I'm going to line to the right edge. And once again, I want them at the front edge before I click on my little shape and use the arrow key to move it one, oops, one, two, three, four five over and then group it to make my final part and we have just created the sides of our box watch this if we rotate our box 90 degrees so I'm gonna get to a side view so I can see these better I'm gonna find that rotation handle zoom out a little better so you can see everything I'm doing when I rotate if I go a long ways away it goes one degree at a time if I stay close to the middle of the shape, you can see it snaps at those easy 90 degree marks. Once I've got it up and down, I'm going to hit D for drop. And watch this, it'll come right up to the work plane so it's ready for building. Your project gets assembled by doing this. We need four sides, right? We're going to do Control D. I'm going to move this one away using the arrow keys. So there I'm pulling it down. I'm going to take two more of these, and I'm going to duplicate them. So I just grabbed both and hit duplicate. These two, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. So I'm using that same snap trick. But these two, I need to flip upside down. When we hit the flip button, it's the up-down choice, and it's the up-down choice. If you look at this right now, we can nudge it to where it would be. And you can see those two parts would fit exactly together to make a box. So your challenge is to come up with some kind of technique to attach the bottom. Maybe some kind of technique to make a lid. Maybe a lid with a piece that sticks inside because there's two parts together. When this part of your box is ready to print, all you need to do is give me one of these pieces flat. So I'm going to keep my box assembled because it looks cool. I like it like that. Remember, these were the same each time, so we just need to cut this four times. Start by rotating it 90 degrees. Drop that back down to the work plane. So with any project we make, let's make sure we name it. This will be box with my initials. Make sure you put your initials. And then you need to check with me to see if it's okay for exporting. If it is, 
you simply click on the shape, you click export, you make sure it only has the selected shape and we are doing a SVG for laser cutting. When you click SVG, choose the desktop folder, the MT tools folder, and then the STL files and then folder. save it with your initials. This is my first attempt, so it's just box MDH. If you test your project later and have a change, just put a one, two, three, or a four after it, and you are ready for laser cutting. Let me know when that's complete, and we'll see what we can do to get it cut. While you're waiting for me, you can work on what you're gonna do to design a part for the bottom that also slips in with tabs. Alrighty, friends, so when you pull these out of the Glowforge, they are so simple. You just take two of them and you slide them inside each other. And because we measured them, they will actually slide exactly to the right spot. Do that same thing for the other side and you've created your initial box. This is where you find out if maybe uh, your holes are too big and it's loose. Uh, the cardboard I used today was a little less than four millimeters. So you can see that mine is a little bit adjustable but it is really pretty strong. It's got a little wiggle, but not a lot. Now your challenge is to figure out a way to make a bottom that maybe has tabs that are cut out and stick together so that it is complete. And then also figure out a way to make a box inside a box so that you've got a lid, maybe even coming up with a handle that you can drop in and twist so that it stays connected as well. Or make a lock underneath. There's so many options for how you build your own awesome box. Uh, this is the fun where you start creating cool stuff and sharing with me at HL My Tech the things you came up with. Friends, if you found this useful, please hammer that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, please add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.